how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. We are out at the house where I grew up. So this is my mother right here. She just made a delicious lunch and dessert. It was tacos and strawberry shortcake. So I really don't feel like working right now, but we have this big pile of mulch here to move. It's 12 yards or 15, 15 yards of mulch. And uh, we have a new area to put it on. We did some sweeping. Cul-de-sac out here is full of stone and gravel, everything else from the winter time. So did some work down there as well. Just a lot of cleanup and prepping for the summertime. All right, Ma, well, it's time to quit jibber jabbering and get to work, okay? So let's get it done. Guys, I am proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. You know, I'm big on safety and Bora can help with that. If you're looking to solve your stability issues side to side, check out wheel spacers from Bora. You can get them in aluminum, you can get them in steel as well. A lot of options, a lot of thicknesses, but they custom make them. They're wheel centric to fit your hub. There's a link down below. Go right to their website to place an order, Bora Wheel Spacers. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video, I would love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button right underneath the video and read through the description as well. All sorts of helpful links down there or head on over to GoodWorks tractors.com. A couple years ago, the entire border of this property between us and the neighbors was actually blue spruce. That's what I grew up with here was a, a row of blue spruce on this side and the far side behind me as well. And you can see that needle cast is happening. It's just killed them off over the years. Have another big one right here that's got to come down too. So these Douglas firs were planted here and some spruce and some hemlocks kind of just to fill in the gap and give that um, that natural border or fence that you have. And so uh, Chris actually dug out, hand dug with a spade, just a little trench just to mark the border of a new uh, mulch bed around these particular trees here. So that's what you see and a little bit of change to uh, the original plan there, kind of arcing it out further as well. So I put a lot of landscape beds in around my house as well. And you know, if you put enough mulch right over top of this three to four inches, you are not gonna have to put any weed barrier down or any roundup on it. Um, ahead of time to prevent any grass from growing up. Just like anything, you're gonna have weeds that kind of come up sporadically throughout and you wanna spot treat those um, over the course of the summer every season. But if you can keep a nice thick layer of mulch on top, it's going to prevent the weeds and the grass from growing through it. So you don't have to worry about any additional um, preventions to take up front. You can just worry about that down the road. So you're gonna notice I'm running today. I've got that piece of red steel on the back and a lot of green steel hanging out as well. I do have a Spico quick hitch, a category one quick hitch on the back that pretty much stays on there all the time. And then I've got a weight bar that's gonna be holding these suitcase weights. I actually just switched over to the 70 pound suitcase weights. I was running the 41 pounders, but you can see the same amount. You still can get eight all the way across of the 70 pounders as well and you get a lot more bang for your buck. So these 70 pound weights are gonna be a little bit cheaper on the cost per pound basis and you can hold, oh, what was it? Seven, 800 pounds total is what the three point is gonna lift up. So you can pretty much max it out with the combination of the quick hitch, the weight bracket, and the 870 pounders. You're gonna be right in that ballpark and max out what you need to without adding any more weight. So I'm sure you're asking, where can you get those weights, that weight bracket, that quick hitch, right? <laughs> so I can sell you the suitcase weights and the quick hitch as well. You can buy those direct from me. I do ship those out. If you're looking for any of the heavy hitch products, uh, like this weight bar that you see here, you buy that manufactured direct. So right from heavyhitch.com, you use code GWT, you get 5% off. If you weren't aware, there's all, all sorts of products that I get, or I offer a 5% off discount code with various manufacturers. If you read through that description underneath the video, you're gonna see all sorts of links down there where you can save 5%. So this nasty looking tooth bar you see on the front of the bucket is another heavy hitch product that you can buy direct from them. Again, code GWT. And frankly, I was not going to use uh, the tooth bar for the mulch that we have out here today, but realized I don't have an Allen with me, the right size Allen to take this tooth bar off. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with it. And it should be just fine. I just wanted to make sure I didn't damage any, um, any of the concrete. You know, it's a fairly new concrete driveway out here, a couple years old, and I wanna make sure that stays in good shape. So I just have to be a little bit more aware of the situation, but these tooth bars really enhance the versatility of the bucket. You know, if this was a pile of stone that we had here or uh, dirt, this would really come in handy. Same thing for grading out different areas. If you, even if you wanna scoop up logs, it's a very versatile tooth bar and it doesn't require any bolting. It just simply clamps down in seven different points. So very easy to take on and off. And again, order it directly from Heavy Hitch. You get 5% off with code GWT.
drive on the other side of these or no? So we started off today actually down in the cul-de-sac right in front of uh, mom's house here. All sorts of gravel sticks, whatever, just, you know, random stuff that was all over the cul-de-sac. And the sweep all came through once again. Yeah, it's a dirty, dusty job uh, doing this depending on what you're going to be accumulating or, or picking up. So being in just a general, you know, typical looking neighborhood here, we don't have a lot of areas to dump what we had collected inside here. But there was one back corner in the yard where we... It was already roughed up and, and unfinished. It was actually something I did use that tooth bar uh, that I have on the bucket to help grade out. But we dug a little bit of a hole and then just tipped this thing up. It's an electric dump on the sweep ball here. Dumped what, everything we had collected, just the gravel and the dirt that was kind of mixed in together underneath. Put some topsoil on top of it and we're good to go. But it just really impresses me with the continued versatility and performance that it just is it's amazing how much time it would save over a manual process of doing some of these even that's a it's a cul-de-sac it's not like it's a huge uh, parking lot or some crazy large area and just even for that kind of a job how much time it saves and how effective it is it's just pretty incredible so it's a commercial grade unit you know it's it's not priced for the low-end residential market but if you could justify the cost add it on to your landscape services portfolio if you have a big municipality uh, maybe just an event uh, center that you have as well. This is the kind of piece of equipment that you want to have on hand. You have a PTO driven version. You can get a self-powered version too with a Honda motor on it, but save 5% with code GWT. I can help place your order and we'll ship it factory direct right to you. So I do want to mention these VersaTurfs. You know, a lot of you guys are curious how they're performing on yards, just a, just a regular yard. And so we have driven over this spot right here a lot so far. We're going to keep driving over it and it's doing really well. It's holding up well. You know, I am trying to be aware because if you turn those front wheels, you know, those tires, they're going to dig in and tear up no matter what tread pattern you have. But so far, so good. Um, I had it in four wheel drive um, and accidentally forgot to turn it off when I had to sweep all when we were uh, backing it up up a hill in an area and so it did it disrupted the turf i'm going to call it that uh, in a small area but nothing that's not going to recover really quickly besides that though there's no turf damage besides you know it's been flattened because it's been ran over a whole bunch it does help with the duels on here too i'm spreading out that psi as well but uh, overall just want to give you an update on that performance
All right, guys, well, we're just wrapping up right now. Just about 15 yards of mulch moved already, maybe a yard or so left. I'm gonna put the rest back there and maybe leave a small pile up front just to touch up certain areas by hand. But this is an easy way to get yard work done. So it's just one example of how to use a subcompactor, a 1025R, anything along these lines. You know, they not only mow, but they can help with your landscaping. And I mean, 15 yards of mulch. Yeah, there was uh, two of us doing it for the most part. You know, me and Chris, um, you know, moving and dumping and spreading and then mom helped out a little bit too there at the end but we did this in two and a half hours something like that so uh you know with some interruptions and that kind of thing but the most important thing is you want to start this on a full stomach because i can tell you i'm really hungry again already and so you want to make sure you go into this with a game plan in mind so the next thing on my list is to ask Ma what's for dinner. So anyways, if you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And as always, read through the description underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Thanks again for stopping by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Like the guy, the guy said also, it will wear off, you know, it's just like the tire mark.